We can use the graphing calculator to convert from normal to scientific notation and the reverse. Let's go over how to do that. So if I enter a number in scientific notation, let's say the number is 1.23, I hit second, and then my comma button, because above it is the symbol EE, -E, and what it'll type out as an E, you're looking for the E. Uh, what that is, is it means 1.23 times 10, and now I'm entering the exponent. So this E represents um, times 10 to some power. So if I enter the fourth power, right, this is in scientific notation, 1.23 e to the fourth, I press enter, and the result gets converted to normal standard format. I could have entered this, I could have entered 1.23, right, times 10, and then exponent button, fourth, press enter, and the same thing happens, but I prefer the E because it's a little bit faster. And we can do this for decimals as well, 0 0.01, right? And, oops, that's not scientific notation though. If I have 1, right? And then let's say it's times 10 to the negative second. Well, what's that in standard form? It's 0 0.01, right? So we can do that. And there are limitations in, in this format right here. On a graphing calculator, if your, res if your number has um, more than 10 digits, it'll stay in scientific notation because it'll only display up to 10 digits. So if I have 1 times 10 to the ninth power, and I convert that to normal notation, it'll show it because this has exactly 10 digits. But as soon as I have more than 10, let's say 1 times 10 to the 10th, right, that'll have 11 digits, it'll keep it in scientific notation. Um, with smaller numbers, if a number has an absolute value smaller than 0 .001, right, 0 .001 will display, but if it's 0 .0009, let's say, it'll display in scientific notation. So any number that has an absolute value smaller than this will stay in scientific notation. So there are some limits there. Now if we go to the mode button right here, and we scroll over to the right, see it's flashing on SCI or scientific and press enter. We're now in scientific notation mode. So what does this do? Well, What this does is it allows us to do the reverse. If we have a number, say 123.001, and I want to convert this to scientific notation. If I just press enter now, it'll do that, right? So we can convert from normal numbers to scientific notation. Of course, this applies to uh, negative numbers as well, and smaller numbers, right, it converts all of these into scientific notation. And notice it actually um, keeps significant digits only. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that in the next video. So you can use this to actually identify significant digits. Alright, hope this helped.